Tracks. Greetings all anonymous members, and all activists from around our world. For the past several years, anonymous, and activists from around our world, has taken upon itself, the task of awakening the masses, to the corporate and political corruption that has become a plague to our well-being, and is threatening, our very principles, to our way of life. The awakening, has largely been a success, with a resurgence of activism and constitutional demonstrations across America, as well as a surge from the populace of the world, demanding their own freedom and liberty. This effort, has often been associated, with unplugging from this so-called matrix. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed, and believe whatever you want to believe. Or, take the red pill, you stay in a dreamland, and you will see, how deep the dream goes. Remember, all that we are doing, is offering the truth. Nothing more. However, we have noticed, that a crucial aspect of this process, has been highly disregarded. What happens to someone? Once they realize that they have been lied to for their entire life. Many have described it as an overwhelming shock, often full of every negative emotion imaginable. Anger, rage, fear, helplessness, senselessness, hopelessness, this is a perfectly natural response. However, we must be mindful of how we recuperate from such a state of being. Oftentimes, we become distrustful of everything that we are told. While it is crucial to question everything, part of that requires studying the facts, and acknowledging when the truth is presented. It has become habitual for people to assume that every negative thing in the world, is the result of a false flag operation, or a corrupt government or corporate organization. It is easy to place the blame on those you despise, whether it is your local or federal government, your police department, or any other convenient entity. This often leads to jumping to conclusions, rather than examining the facts that are available. In doing so, we have unplugged from the matrix in which we were born, only to plug ourselves into an alternate matrix that we have created ourselves from the fabrics we still cling to, from our first reality. One example of this second stage, a self-created matrix, was previously explained in Operation Romper Stomper. Americans have become so distraught over war propaganda that a blanket belief exists where hatred for Muslims is now encouraged. If one changes their viewpoint after studying the facts about the alleged infiltration of our government by the Muslim Brotherhood, one would quickly realize that this descendant of the Third Reich, is supported by other forms of the Nazi menace that ravaged the world during World War II, the very same entities that were funded, and supplied by United States corporations, in order to turn war into profit, for business, that we know today. Despite what your evening news may tell you, this is not that of a people or religious agenda, any more so than previous belief systems. The obvious sign of being stuck in one's own matrix, would be the numerous people who inform others that Osama bin Laden was an asset for the CIA, that 9-11 was an inside job, and that the United States has been training and funding ISIS or ISIL, or IS, or whatever, all while simultaneously warning you about the evil of Muslims and the terrorist religion of Islam. Such arguments provide a direct contradiction to each other, that appears to go unnoticed more often than not. Another clear example would be, the public reaction towards officer-involved shootings, and in some cases, murders. We have a growing issue in the United States as well as the world where life often resembles that of a police state. It is documented fact, that the Supreme Court ruled, police are intended to uphold the law, rather than protect and serve the citizens in their community. The Pentagon has been running programs to provide local police departments with militarized equipment, that are no longer being used in the illegal wars overseas. 
peaceful protests are often met with SWAT-style tactics, while journalists and demonstrators alike find themselves arbitrarily arrested and abused for expressing their constitutionally protected rights. Training courses for law enforcement such as Urban Shield work with police officers to respond more like a tactical military force against their own citizenry, rather than peacekeepers meant to maintain order and security. Laws are being passed that further strip the people of these rights, criminalizing what should be considered an obligation by any self-respecting citizen of the world. However, despite all of the causes for the rise of such tyranny, we see activists, who do no more than blame an individual, regardless of what the facts may show. Far too many people would rather stand on the street and scream, fuck the police, at the top of their lungs than propose legislation that calls for revised training and officer accountability. We see the mentality flooding the streets, that all cops are bastards. We see accusatory statements against all police, and statements, that if there were any good cops, they would stop the bad cops. However, we see no mention of the fact, that when a good cop does in fact arrest or stop a bad cop, they are ordered by their superiors to let them go. In one specific case, a woman was harassed by officers from multiple departments for arresting an officer who was in violation of the law. You see, good cops are suppressed by the system, and are met with malice any time they demand the very accountability that we demand ourselves. The problem lies within the system. The training officers receive that tells them, the public wants to kill them, instilling fear in an otherwise respectable peace officer. The complete disregard for use of force procedures, which have also been altered over time, to include more and more acceptable use of deadly force. And finally, we see these examples playing out through what is supposed to be our own media. It is now common for people to disregard the mainstream media, as being factless and biased on any given story. We often criticize media for taking things out of context, and manipulating a story to suit their own opinion, rather than presenting the facts without alteration. We know that, nothing is fair and balanced, because all too often, a story with multiple facilitators only has one side. There is always more than one side to any story, and it is a conscious decision to pretend there is not. Unfortunately, we are now in an age where our own independent media sources are guilty of the very practices that are condemned against the mainstream media. We are stuck in a paradigm where we have decided the truth from an early stage, and rather than evaluating the evidence available, people would rather seek out only the information that confirms their beliefs. Sense of integrity has been lost. Credible source material has become rare. For many, the line between news and satire has been practically eliminated. The worst of all of this is that we as a movement have allowed this to happen. These are the reasons that Anonymous has decided to launch Operation Matrix. You have had your time to unplug from the first Matrix. You have fed off of emotion and bias that created your own second Matrix. Now, it is time to unplug completely. Truth is indisputable, opinion is not. Anonymous is an idea. It is the idea that truth shall prevail. It is the idea that bias should not dictate our lives, or the lives of anyone else. It is an idea, that everyone, regardless of occupation, race, religion, or background, has the right to justice, to freedom. It is the idea, that humanity is one. It is time to stop letting our emotions override rational thought. It is time to stop letting the system divide us amongst ourselves. This is not us versus the police, it is not us versus veterans and active duty military, it is not Christian versus Muslim, it is none of these things that the media would like you to believe. It is us versus a system that has become corrupt. It is time to return to truth and fact. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Operation Matrix is now engaged.